Hey everyone, it's Laurie. I'm here to do your general reading. I hope you're all doing well, happy, healthy, and having fun. It's a nice, dreary, rainy day here. Um, I think everybody's been experiencing multiple days of rain pretty much across the country. I could be wrong, but it's definitely hit us finally. And the water is building up in the ditch, I just noticed. Anyways, let's go ahead and start your reading. I'm going to roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. We've got Libra, top. Um, then we have Pisces. We have strong Aquarius, too. Capricorn. Possibly some Taurus and Gemini. All right. <clears throat> if you are a returning viewer, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you being here and coming back. If you are a new viewer, I want to say welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and that you come back in the future. Either way, I would like to tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. We are almost to 5,000 uh, community members, which is a pretty strong community, okay? We've got a lot of caring people in here. So welcome, welcome. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, feel free to join us. We would love to have you as a member of this community. Likes, shares, comments, all of those work too. Get you in as a member. <laughs> all right, your overall energy here. Uh-oh, Ten of Wands. You had some heavy burdens you're putting down. Some you're putting behind you. Good, so that you can free yourself up and have some fun with the Three of Cups there. And we have the tower here. We have the sun card. Up and down, up and down. What's going on here? King of Cups. The moon. Sun and the moon next to each other. Night and day. Let's see what's happening. King of Cups with a five of pentacles in the tower. Wow. The emperor is showing himself. And the magician. Woof. Boy, have we got some major arcana out here. There is some major changes happening in your life. You're coming out of um, an energy of King of Swords, which tells me um, there's a, been a conversation between you and somebody else. Something that had to be dealt with, okay? Something that absolutely had to be said, done, dealt with. And once it was, it caused you to, it helped you to put your burdens down. It helped you to feel free and um, reconnect yourself to your friends. Um, that's my cat, Sage, my new cat. Hi, Sage. She's scratching the chair um, and meowing. When I speak, she speaks. So she always thinks I'm speaking to her when I'm trying to do my videos. All right. You put... This conversation put helped you to put some burdens down. You decided you're going to put some burdens down here. Um, I am getting that for some of you, it helped to free you up to where you could reconnect with some friends. However, for others of you, there definitely was a third party event here that you found out about, but it released you. You finally had the clarity that you needed. You don't, didn't have to guess anymore. You didn't have to suspect. You couldn't deny it anymore. Whatever you want to say, the truth came out. You found out about what was happening, and you had your eyes opened, okay? The sun comes out and reveals everything, but it can also, as it shows in this card, bring a sense of freedom, of release, of happiness and joy because you've got the truth and you're done dealing with this situation. And it definitely had to do with your emotions, okay? This was definitely um, very painful, hurtful, but the secrets are out now, okay? You're no longer being left out in the cold. You're, re you're, you are flipping the tables, okay, on this person who has done this to you, you have owned your emotions, you've stepped into your emperor energy, emperor, empress. I like that it brings out the male and the female, emperor sometimes, the empress sometimes. It's all about the energy, okay, and knowing your self-worth, who you are. This requires a little bit more of detachment, whereas the empress is more on the compassionate side not to say the emperor is not compassionate the emperor can just be a little bit more 
and maybe let's put it analytical instead of emotional, okay? Not that the Empress is emotional either because she's very well balanced. So anyways, I'm just getting with the, <clears throat> excuse me, the King of Swords energy here that this was more of an intellectual, cold conversation, okay? No emotions played in this after um, you figured out what has happened here, okay? And you are working magic for your future. So you're you're owning your own power. You're standing in your own power. You know your self-worth, male or female. You know who you are. You know what you want. <clears throat> and you are now going to focus on manifesting exactly what you want. Sage, come on, honey. You can't talk the whole time I talk, okay? It just doesn't work that way, baby. Everybody can hear you. We all love you. Yeah, but you can't talk just because mommy's talking. Okay. All right, clarifying the three of cups here. Look at this. We've got the ten of wands showing right under the ten of wands here. Three of cups on the three of cups with the ace of wands. So you... What? No. No. So what I'm seeing here is for some of you, it was a third party. It was definitely a passionate situation and i'm saying it was your person who was involved in a third party situation it could have been you but i'm reading this as libra okay um or any cross watcher with any libra um in their chart okay so <clears throat> i am seeing that this as a third party situation for the most part okay um it was passionate it was all about <clears throat> you decided you're going to put your burdens down, okay? You're not doing this anymore. Strength and compassion, all right? You sent that message out, nope, I'm not doing this anymore, and you are recovering your cup of love. That's what I just heard. Yes, you're recovering your cup of love, and look at this. We have the Queen of Swords. Oh, the King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. That's who you left behind. That's who you're leaving behind. Okay. Wow. Okay. Big energies here. Huge energies. All right. Let's clarify the tower here. What can we find out more about this tower moment? Thank you, spirits, angels, and guides. Okay. It's the end of the confusion. Okay. That's the seven of cups, which can talk about options, choices, confusion, with the tower, you got absolute clarity about what the situation is, and you decided to take your life in a different direction. Good for you. Absolutely positive energy here. Wonderful. Nothing else is coming out there. Okay, so very good. That happened, and you decided you're going to take your life in a different direction. Let's clarify the sun. This is through sheer determination. There's fate, you know, stuff like that involved. However, you have the ultimate um, free will to, to decide what you're going to do in life. Okay, you may be guided to a plan of action, a decision, a choice, or something like that. But it's always your decision in the end. Your free will. Look at this. And I was looking at the King of Cups, too, when I was wanting clarification on that. I'm getting a strong, strong sense here. The message is that you are really taking control of your emotions. You are not letting them put you here, okay? You're letting your emotions say, this is how I want to feel. This is how I'm going to feel. I am in control. I'm a king. I am in control of my emotions, okay? That's why I think the emperor is here and not the empress, is because it's more of that... Um, being able to detach from your emotions, okay? All right. So there has been some temperance here, some, on your part, the ability to keep yourself level-headed, not blow off, um, blow up, not yell, scream, rant, rave. I, I'm really getting control of your emotions. Get down, Sage. Please. No, Sage. No, 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 Sage. <clears throat> Hi, guys. This is Sage. Sage, come on, honey. You cannot, you cannot just, like, be up here. Okay? No. 
no, 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 no. Okay. Thank you, honey. We appreciate the, the cat spirit message. Okay. That's also spirit acting through sage to say, whoever's not paying attention, you need to be paying attention because this message is probably for you. Okay. All right. So you need to control the emotions here is what we were discussing. Um, I was shuffling, I believe, and the justice is on the bottom of the deck. So there will be some sort of justice here for you. Balance. We were talking about your um, temperament, temper, temperance card that had shown up, okay? That you were staying level-headed. Um, oh, I put half the deck upside down, it looks like. Yep. Let's see if I can fix this quickly. Sorry, guys. Cats can be distracting, but you know what? They're also our muses and our connection to the divine. So I am not going to be bothered by this. It happens. It's life. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify. And I, I'm going to read all further cards as uprights, whether they come out in the reverse or not, because I don't know if I missed anything there. All right, so let's clarify the sun. Let's clarify how bright this future is. What's happening here with the sun energy, please? Spirits, angels, and guides, thank you. I appreciate all messages, all clarity. I saw the four of pentacles pop out there. <laughs> It's one of those days. It's 11-11 on my cell phone that just went off. And I have no idea why it just went off. Didn't show me anything other than the time. Okay. Clarification of the sun. For my collective here watching this, my lovely, lovely Libras and any Libra sign in their chart. Okay, nothing here. Let's move on to the Five of Pentacles. Can we get clarification of the Five of Pentacles, please? We've got the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Swords. Double sevens here. Okay. What I'm hearing is that you have made some sort of connection here and you're, you've been keeping your silence. You're intuitively knowing that you need to keep your silence about leaving this person, what your plans are, okay? You have to keep your silence about what your plans are towards this person. I don't think you actually told them during that conversation that you were planning to put your burdens down and leave, okay? I believe that you are being guided to keep this to yourself until you have a place to go, a place to take action. This will probably make it easier because then this person will not have a chance to talk you out of what you're planning to do, okay, moving forward. Yeah, you're putting an end to this. Look at this. You got another, you got the tower again and independence. Okay, so yeah, if you speak about this to them, it could end your ability to move forward, to make a change. That's what this is, is to make the change. Okay, and you'll just be back where you started from. Your independence will be gone. You'll be caught back up. And then, yeah, you'll lose, the, you're, you're going to lose the opportunity. So you're being, you won't miss it completely. It's just, you know, you've probably gone through this several times where you've tried to leave this person. The situation, I am hearing some of, for some of you, it is a job, okay, that you have tried to leave. Um, whatever it is, you have tried to leave this situation before. You're asking not to speak about it to them, to anybody else, nobody, because somebody will go back and tell this person and you will not be able to move forward without them talking you out of it. Okay. Let's see if we can get clarification of the sun card energy here now. That's a whole book. 
but we do have the Ten of Wands again, the Eight of Wands, a lot of fiery energy here, okay? There could be arguments, there could be, um, oh. okay, so then we have the Ace of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm hearing is this is going to be, the if you discuss this, if you talk about this, this could be very, very difficult. It could become another burden. You're trying to put your burdens down, um, but you're being told to keep the, keep it to yourself. If this is, if these um, wands were going upwards, that would be communicate, ask for help, whatever. You're being told to keep it to yourself. Keep this Keep this to yourself for right now so that you can have a beautiful, fresh start in all aspects of your life, okay? Oh, yeah, holy grail. Fresh starts, okay? You've been stuck. Somebody's been trying to keep you from gaining your independence here, okay? They don't want you looking towards the future. They want to keep you right where you are, okay? And they're building themselves some bad karma. I will say that there is some bad karma coming through here. Somebody around you, though, when you do finally make your move to get out of this situation, will be there to help you, okay? But it's going to be last minute. You're going to be doing this pretty much on your own, and you're going to probably run into, bump into, somebody's going to call you right in the middle of it, and you're going to pick up the phone or you're going to have to tell them what's going They're like, what's going on? What's, what's happening? And you'll be like, I can't talk right now. I got to go. I'm moving. And you know, whatever. Okay. Or you, they show up at your place. What are you doing? I'm moving. Want to help? <laughs> you know, but, and this person will be there for you. <sighs> yeah. You're going to work toward, you're going to work for this one, unfortunately. All right. Let's see what the moon card. Oof. Yeah, see, secrets, secrets, um, heartbreaks, sorrows, things that you you suspected for a long time, you now have the verification for, okay? That's what that conversation was. Yeah, look at this. Somebody was manipulating you to keep you stressed out, keeping you where they wanted you. Look at this. And this is what you could have had. This is what, what is heading your way. Look at this. Sage, honey. That's enough. I love you too. I love you too. Stop. Okay. You've got the ability to accomplish your goals. You've got the sun card here twice. Okay. So the truth will be revealed. A new day, a new start, um, a new beginning. This is not necessarily talking about a new romance, okay? This is about the choices that you decide to make in your relationships that you're already in, okay? You're going to take a break. And after you take this break and see everything for the way it is and you do some healing, that's victory. Here is the ultimate new day dawning, okay? So this is your future. This is what's coming your way. And there's that solid foundation to build from. Okay. I also will say that the top card in the deck right now is the Queen of Cups. Okay, she's, as I'm doing this, she kept poking her head out here. And they're facing each other. And what I'm hearing is, is you're bringing all parts of yourself together to become the Emperor. Okay. So keep in mind, somebody was manipulating you. Somebody was definitely using words or emotions to control you. And I'm getting emotions. For the most part, they're, uh, you know, making you feel guilty for wanting to leave. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what the emperor energy here is. Victory for you. A win, you being um, elevated, you're elevating yourself, you're up on that horse. People around you see you rising up. Um, people will be talking about you for leaving, for doing this, okay? Um, like I said, this could be career. P 
people will be talking, wow, I never thought they'd leave this, you know, position, this job, this company, whatever. And other people will be like, wow, we never thought that person would be able to break free from this relationship because it's been so toxic. Yeah. You are heading towards a beautiful future here. You are on your way to a beautiful future. You've taken control of that chariot and you are moving in a whole new direction. You broke the bonds. I'm taking that because it turned out this way as it was coming out of the deck. Um, you broke the bonds. These are things that this person did that put you up inside your head, that made you doubt yourself, who you were, what your worth was. Okay? You've broken those bonds that the they were using here. Okay? To control you. You're not letting them do that anymore. Yeah. You, you're finally saying, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm capable. I'm, I'm, I've gone through this many battles and I can get through this one. Yep. I can absolutely get through this one. And you want to move on to a better place. Okay. All right. So we're going to leave that there. Oops. Got four now. Let's see what's happening here. Look at this. I told you you were heading for a bright future, a better future. Okay, so you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Devil. I told you there was toxic energy here. And the Nine of Pentacles. As much as you've been fighting to get your independence, to be able to stand on your own two feet, to be respected, there's the toxicity in the relationship that kept you like this and kept you from gaining this happiness here that you deserved. Okay, now this is maybe broken in the relationship you're in. Okay, this may be a long time term relationship that you thought was going to be good for you, but ended up being sleepless nights and toxic. And now you're finally gaining your independence. So that can go either way. Okay, let me find a couple of uh, animal spirits with some advice. Spirit animals. Let's see what the spirit animals may have for you. If this uh, resonated in any way with you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you know this story and it sounds like your situation, go ahead and claim it in the comments below. If this did not resonate with you at all, please leave it for who it was meant for. It was obviously not meant for you if it did not make sense to you or resonate, okay? And of course, if you know somebody who may need to hear this message, please feel free to share this video with them, okay? All right, guys, let's see what spirit animals, guys, ladies, girls, it's just a term I'm from upstate New York. It's a term we use to include everybody. All right, frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Absolutely, look at this, 10, 10 of wands. This is card number 28, which adds up to 10. It's about putting your burdens down, releasing, letting go, purging, okay? Decluttering, clear out the clutter. And I love it. And number one, ant spirit, it's time to collaborate. And what I want to point out is that this is 10 plus 1, which is 11. That is angel portals opening for you, doors to the divine, um, Doors here on earth are opening up for you. Opportunities are going to be coming your way. You, some of you do have the Ten of Pentacles as the end result. Some of you are losing that Ten of Pentacles temporarily, you know, because you're leaving this relationship, this job or whatever, but it's going to come back around, okay? And then we have number 24, Electric Eel Spirit. Bring your ideas to life. That is definitely for the... Um, career people, I heard that specifically, bring your ideas to life. In other words, Spirit would like to see you start your own business or collaborate with somebody else to start a new project, um, something like that, okay? All right, that's card number 24, which adds up to six. 
And then we have card 57, Squirrel Spirit. Believe in yourself again. You are capable of doing whatever you need to here. Okay, you're going to start something new here. Whether Your ideas can be your manifestations. Okay, you're the magician here. All right. Sage, please, honey. Please. All right. So, I'm looking, okay, 24. Spirit wants me to read 24 here. Yes, Sage, you're a little disruptive. Just a little bit. Let's see what we can find out. Bring your ideas to life. Seemingly out of nowhere, the jolt of electric eel spirit appears to awaken you to a big idea that you are meant to explore. Epiphanies and aha moments are gifted to you right now, so celebrate. Your life has the potential for profound transformation. Inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life, to starting a new life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set you on a new path. So do not be afraid to act. Explore, examine, and do not fear the changes that may come. For Spirit wants to shower you with the love, success, and abundance that you hope to experience. Now is a thrilling time of epiphanies, inspired ideas, and innovation. This is a wondrous sign for you today. Yeah. Okay, if you're going to be going through this, that's fantastic. The protection message is, ideas need to percolate, as they rarely download in detailed form. Have you too quickly dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see where it might lead you? Have you rushed to follow the muse without taking time to contemplate the meaning of your aha moment? Perhaps your dream will take a different form than you first imagined morphing into something else that is even better. Spirit's plans are often hard to discern, but so much more satisfying once they have taken over from your own predetermination. So once you've released it back to them, they help guide you, okay? Maybe your big idea is taking more time to shape than you expected. Have you considered that you are meant to learn something in the process of bringing it into being. Commit to transformation and to learning any lessons this new venture will bring. And soon you will see that your aha was even more valuable than you realized when you first felt it electrify you. All right, my friends, I hope that message reached who it was meant to. Definitely an important message there. Something for all of you who are transitioning, transforming, going through these changes life, romantic, career, whatever it is. Good message for you. All right. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. If you want a uh, personal reading, check the description box below. Until our energies cross again, peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.